Hello there, this is Darth Melvin, leader of the Knights of Melvin. Episode 3 of Ahsoka was garbage. Here is my full breakdown for this terrible series. Sabine is not force sensitive, she's training with the droid Hewing, and he tells her it's not good. Well? Not bad. But not good. I see you still remember the basics. Enough to get by? Mm, barely. Despite all that, Sabine was able to fight off Shin for a while. This is another inconsistency in the writing. I know she got owned, but come on. She was very outmatched in skills. This should have been a quick slicing and dicing. The duel should have never happened because it was so stupid. Learning to wield the Force takes a deeper commitment. How? That's something you'll have to discover. This seems like this is the first time Ahsoka's ever said anything like that to Sabine. I bring this up because I question what kind of training did Sabine receive the last time she was Ahsoka's Padawan? They were together anywhere from a few months to a few years. This former master and apprenticeship was off screen and very underdeveloped. We know what happened, but when you start speculating on what took place during this time, there are blatant holes in the writing. I can't see, how am I supposed to fight? With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. More plagiarism from Dave Filoni. This is a direct ripoff of Luke Skywalker from A New Hope. What is Filoni doing? Is he rehashing Star Wars? Ahsoka trips Sabine and she falls. She takes the mask off and looks at Ahsoka. How could you do that to me? This felony written character is such a little bitch. When it comes to Jedi training, she's so lazy. In Rebels when Kanan tried to teach her, all she did was whine and complain. The only thing I'm learning is that Ezra must be really gifted to learn as well as he has from a lousy teacher like you. Kanan had to fast track her training because of it. Typical Filoni writing, not caring about training, loves empowering strong females. Sabine mastered the Darksaber very quickly and overpowered Kanan. Given the time and effort she put into this training, that victory was very undeserved. Sabine looking at Ahsoka like she is now, she's an entitled brat that expects everything to come easy to her. By the end of the show, it surely will. Hera needs screen time, so she meets with Chancellor Mon Mothma, aka Molly Damon of Star Wars Sex Blamed, and other senators to reveal what happened on Corellia with the Imperial Loyalists. She warns of Thrawn's return, and it's shut down! They don't have interest in helping. A major thing to point out for the Filoni faithful, the Doomcock and Cameron Pasha lovers, one of the senators is Senator Hamoto Ziano, father of Kaz Ziano, from the show Star Wars Resistance, a Dave Filoni created sequel trilogy show. For anyone that didn't get the memo, that thinks Dave Filoni is going to magically erase all the Disney Star Wars you don't like, Dave Filoni is referencing his sequel trilogy show in the Ahsoka show. The sequel trilogy is not getting retconned. Despite what you think about the Ahsoka show, Rey Skywalker is returning, and Dave Filoni loves her! Stop hoping Disney Star Wars is going to get better. Give yourself to the dark side and join the movement to hashtag Avenge Star Wars. You either want Disney Star Wars to fail, or you don't. If you don't want it to fail, I don't want to hear you complain about the content that Disney is putting out. You are fully on board. You are a certified Ray boy. You love Ray. You lick her ass. We see Hera's kid. His name is Jason, ripping off Jason Solo from the Expanded Universe. He also has green hair. He'll fit in perfectly with Rey's Jedi Order. He'll be an SJW, not with the traditional blue hair, but green hair. I was hoping that the urgency of our situation could expedite my training a bit. Typical lazy communist Sabine. She has one training session. She's already complaining, looking for shortcuts. She's a very unlikable character. Filoni is going to give her a shortcut too, just like he did in Rebels. I only spoke the truth. 
The Jedi Order would not have accepted her. She is not an acceptable candidate. By their standards? Standards which were proven over a millennia. And failed. Apparently Ahsoka knows something that the Jedi Order didn't. Because they got taken out by Palpatine, Ahsoka can claim all their methods when it came to everything were wrong. In this case, specifically, who they decide is worthy of training. Forget about the centuries of the Jedi Order, Ahsoka knows best because she's Dave Filoni's bae. Some are arguing that maybe the midichlorian count is meaningless or not as important as you think. No it isn't. Everyone has the Force according to George Lucas. But these words are being twisted into fake news. No, everyone has potential to be a Jedi. People saying that everyone has the potential to be a Jedi because they have the Force. This is completely wrong and I will be making a separate video on that. I don't need Sabine to be a Jedi. I need her to be herself. She doesn't have to be a Jedi, she just has to be herself, because she's better than all the Jedi. Go females, yeah. Get me my pom-poms, my felonic pom-poms, yeah. And my orange lightsaber, and I'll just slippity slap you in the face with it. Oh. The Force is in all of us. Sabine is not able to move the cup. I want you to remember this moment. I want you to see what the Filoni faithful are saying about Sabine's abilities. They think she can accomplish being a respectable Jedi with training. Watch her accomplish greatness in a short time with no training and still see them justify it. Ahsoka and Sabine pull out of hyperspace. The Filoni dark Jedi see them. How did they find them? Were they tracking them from the beginning? Or did they just see them when they pulled out of hyperspace? I don't know. Who cares? Copying Luke Skywalker again! I actually heard some people say, oh wow, this episode reminds me of the prequels. This is a direct ripoff of Star Wars A New Hope. They discover a hyperspace ring. This is something that will take them to the new galaxy, the one where they think Thrawn is at. The ship gets damaged and Ahsoka decides to go on a spacewalk. She somehow manages to pull off a Last Jedi, Mary Poppins and Rey Rise of Skywalker flip, taking out a starfighter. It's amazing how many of the Filoni faithful despise the sequel trilogy, but they'll defend this very cringe scene in Ahsoka. They'll say, Darth Malvin, this was in Clone Wars and Rebels as well! <laughs> yeah, in Filoni garbage. I'm seeing that everywhere, defending Filoni with Filoni. It's okay, Sabine survived a reaving. Look at Darth Maul! <laughs> Dave Filoni was behind Darth Maul, you Disney shill! Ah! Ahsoka and Sabine escape the Filoni Dark Jedi and land on a planet. Balin's skull is aware that they are there, and the episode ends. Unfortunately, the hype for this show is still there. Episode 3 was short, and it seems to be setting up Episode 4, where it looks like there will be some more dueling, which will surely piss off the Andor fans. I hate nightsabers and Star Wars! <laughs> I just want to watch terrible political scenes that are overshadowed by serial scenes. Oh, Tony Gilroy! For the Shills and Filoni Faithful, it might take the entire eight episodes for them to truly see how terrible this show is. I'm going to continue to rip apart this show every week in our effort to avenge Star Wars. Make sure to become a knight, subscribe to the channel, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural.